Good morning everyone. Good morning sessions. the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Giver of light and wisdom, thank you for giving me a mind that can know and a heart that can love. Help me to keep learning every day of my life, no matter what the subject may be. Let me be convinced that all knowledge leads to you, and let me know how to find you and love you in all the things you have made. Encourage me when my studies are difficult and when I am tempted to give up. Enlighten me when my brain is slow, and have me the grasp the truth held out to me. Grant me the grace to put my knowledge to use in building a better world. Amen. Mission. We are a private educational institution of choice and a community of professional educators and lifelong learners. In collaboration with our stakeholders, we are committed to provide a caring and simulating environment that nurtures holistically developed individuals equipped with 21st century skills. Vision. We envision our students to be highly motivated learners with creative and open minds, effective communication skills, adept at responsible use of information, media and technology, and able to navigate life and career paths with confidence, discipline, and integrity. In partnership with parents and the community, we strive towards the de total development of our students that they may reach their fullest potential and become productive members of society in the service of others. Students old number one, I will set my goals in life and I will acquire the knowledge and skills necessary in order to achieve them. I will work hard and I will never give up, even when difficulties arise. I realize the difficulties are opportunities to better myself through perseverance on my way to success. Number two, as a citizen of the earth, I am steward of all our bounty and will use your resources to incur responsibility. I will remember that your gifts are to be shared by all, including your nation still to come. Number three, as a youth of my nation, I will be a productive member of society and work to contribute to the development of my country. I will lead through action involved in making my country strong and great. Number four, as a member of my family and as a student of Southeastern College, I will give gratitude to my parents and teachers, treat everyone with respect and courtesy, do my tasks with discipline and diligence, and conduct myself with courage, dignity, and integrity always. I will seek the counsel of my elders when the need arises. Number five, I shall always keep myself, my home, my school, and my environment clean and tidy. I will take care of the things entrusted to me and be responsible for their appropriate use, maintenance, and safekeeping. Number six, 
I will build my character through habits of excellence. I will lead an honest life free from all corruptions and adopt a righteous way of life in order that I may contribute to the peace and harmony in the world. Number 7. I will be a lifelong learner and keep the lamp of knowledge lit forever. I will work hard to develop and grow in mind, body, and spirit. Number 8. I will do my best in all that I do that I may be of service to my family, my community, my country, and my God. At this point, let us all welcome Mrs. Amalia F. Ga, the class advisor of Grade 9 Sentinels, for our value focus of the week. Good morning, Sessions. How are you feeling today? I would like to start this day with a quote from Desmond Tutu. Do your little bit of goods where you are. It's those little bits of good put together that overwhelm the world. Our value focus for the week is about gratitude. Gratitude, according to Merriam-Webster, is a state of being grateful or thankful. It is the readiness to show appreciation for and to return kindness. So let me ask you, what should you be grateful for? From everything that has happened from the past nine months of this year, 2020, what should we be grateful for? From our experiences, we're reminded that we should unlearn hate and remember the essentiality of love and compassion towards one another. An example would be the wrath of Typhon Rowley and Typhon Ulysses that have majorly hit Luzon to where people have lost their properties and their loved ones in just a single night. We thank the netizens, people from the internet, who spread posts and messages with the hashtag called Cagayan and Isabella Needs Help. And this sends a unifying message not to lose hope and that we are all in this together. We know that people from those affected areas of the typhoons were very grateful for the immediate responses to send them help and able to give them that kind of compassion that is slowly dying in our society. Gratitude does not come by force, but it comes deep from your heart. When you show a simple kindness to others and they appreciated it with joy in their eyes and in their smiles, you would feel a twitch in your heart because you made someone really happy and that is the best feeling you could ever feel. Gratitude is appreciating even the smallest things that we have in life and being able to share it to others. Gratitude always starts with appreciation by saying thank you. Gratitude is, a, is an impact of kindness be kind and you will be appreciated. Allow me to share things with you on how you could show gratitude. For people who love you, give a long, intimate hug. Or if you know they don't like hugs, stick out your hand for a handshake to cater to their preferences and make them smile. For people who challenge you, let them know how you appreciate when they challenge you in a loving, non-confrontational way. And if they don't do that, be calm and kind when, when you ask them to do that going forward. For people who serve you, smile when you order or when you were assisted. Smiles are con contagious, so give one away. For people who work with you, write a handwritten thank you notes acknowledging things you value about them and their work. For yourself, compliment yourself, say it while looking in the mirror, write it in a journal, or jot it on a sticky note and put it on your refrigerator. I will end this speech with a quote from Oprah Winfrey. Be thankful for, for what you have, you'll end up having more. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you will never, ever have enough. Thank you for listening sessions. Have a grateful and wonderful week ahead.
The builder of youth of the land will to thee be adored. In thoughts, in words, and in deeds, we are bound to defend. Town is turned, college name, known all o'er the eastern seas. The name we should keep until the The builder of youth of the land will to thee be adored. In thoughts, in words, and in deeds, we are bound to defend. Southeastern college name, known all over the eastern seas. The name we should keep until. Sessions, let us all prepare ourselves for the moment of mindfulness. We will use this to strengthen our focus and concentration. Close your eyes and calm your minds. Don't think of anything else and just focus on your breathing as you inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Continue focusing on your breathing. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good morning sessions. May we all have a productive week ahead.